Hi everyone. Well, today I'm going to make a little quickie video of my Gravisol Pulcra Roy, the male. He just molted, so let's have a look at his awesome coloration. Yeah, there we go. He's definitely one of the nicest looking black tarantulas that I've ever seen. Uh, he is probably around three inches give or take or two. Uh, he is a male, not mature yet. Um, he'll probably mature out probably in one or two molts. Maybe three. Man, this is an awesome looking spider. Just look at the black on her. On him, actually. <laughs> I have a mature female that's around seven inches. He's going to be able to breed with my female. You can see his molt. There's the fangs. Now one thing I like about G. Polkra, they have huge fangs. Almost the size of a T. Blondie. But the hairs don't bother me on these species. Definitely must have to get. So, I'm going to go back to watering, and then I got some jobs to do. And also, I do have some bad news going on with this. Even though that I got a molt from the Pulcra, also got a molt from the Gigas male. Unfortunately, sad ending to Rosalina, my beautiful four and a half inch uh, Samopoas Pulcra, Panama Blonde. Yeah, she passed away. Um, she was about four and a half inches. Uh, she was a mature female. Um, not full grown. Full grown is around six inches. And yeah, just noticed that uh, she passed away. Sad though, because I really like this species. Uh, we'll probably get a replacement. And it was very female. I'm not sure if you can actually see. There is the epigastric furrow that you see in female tarantulas. That's how you ventral sex them. Oh yeah, I'm upset. But C'est la vie. Alright everyone, so I do uh, hope you like this video. And uh, it sucks I have to show a dead specimen, but what can we do? So stay tuned for more videos, and hopefully I'll post some more good ones.